Hello everyone, and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, we're going to be building another steam locomotive here, and we're going to be building this Canadian Pacific Royal Hudson steam locomotive. And this is a 464, and this is what it looks like here. So let's get right into the build here. So we're going to start off on the front here, and we're going to put three polished black stone blocks coming across the rails. Above it, three forward facing polished black stone stairs. Then take out a dark oak stair for the coupler, turn around and stack it up on this second block, and delete the ones we use for placement. On this side of it, put a dark oak fence gate. Then come behind this here on the second layer, and we'll put three polished black stone blocks on top, and three polished black stone slabs underneath them on the upper hitbox of the first layer. Then on the sides of this, on the very top edge, we'll put a polished black stone slab here and one on this side. Now come behind it, skip one block back from this and get a netherite wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. Then on the upper hitbox, two rows of three polished black stone slabs and another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then we're going to put a stone button on the side of all four of these wheels. And then we're going to take chiseled polished black stone and run a line up the center to the back of this truck. Then come on top of this slab up here and we're going to put a polished black stone stair facing forward right here. And then an upside down stair facing backwards behind it. And do the same thing on this side. And then up here we'll put another forward facing stair on each side like that. Then we're going to take polished black stone brick walls. We're going to put two walls here and two here. On the side of it, we're going to do a two by two of polished andesite for the piston. And same thing on this side right here. Then on the fronts of the pistons, we're going to put a wither skeleton skull on bottom and an item frame with a netherite on top. Same thing over here, wither skeleton skull on bottom, then an item frame with a netherite. Next, we're going to take out end rods, come up here between this first set of stairs and put three sideways end rods. Then we're going to skip a block back from the end rods and put three polished black stone brick stairs facing this way in the middle. Then come on the front of it, on the left hand side do a dark oak sign with a set of parentheses and same thing on this right hand side and hit those signs with red dye and a glowing sack. Then in the middle we'll do a sign. And on the top line, we're going to type British Columbia. And on the bottom line, we're going to type Canada. Then we'll hit that one with white dye and a glowing sack. Then come up here and do three polished black stone brick blocks on that top middle right there. Then we're going to do another row of polished black stone brick blocks up here, but we're going to come one block forward above that sign there. Then four upside down polished black stone brick stairs on either side of it. Above that, come up each side with black stone brick blocks, then one on this front middle, and then four on the top middle. Then up here, four outward facing stairs on either side of it here for the smoke box. Next, take out dark oak trap doors. Close one on the side of this stair and one on this stair. Do the same thing on this side. So one here, one here. Then come up front and put a skeleton skull here and here on each side. Then we're gonna take out end rods again. And on this second level up here, we need one horizontal end rod in the middle. Above it, a glow item frame with a frog light. Then on either side of this headlight here, we need to get two vertical end rods on each side. So it looks like that. Then above the headlight, we're gonna put a dark oak sign up here. 
and we're going to type 2860. Hit that with white dye and a glow ink sack. Then take out skeleton skulls again, and we're going to put one here and one here. Now come up here, take out these two blocks, get a block down in there and put two soul campfires. Then start at the back and put three polished blackstone up here. Put a black candle above this back block and then change it to a polished blackstone stair so it looks like this. Then come up here behind this stair, put two polished blackstone blocks up here and two on this side right here. Now take out chisel polished blackstone down here on this second layer and do a line of 13 blocks coming back up the middle. Next, we're going to do our driving wheels. So we're going to take out deep slate tile block and we're going to start one block behind this wheel here and do three, skip a block three up here, skip a block in three. Then we're going to turn all three of these into plus shapes. And then of course, we're going to copy that on the other side. So there's three driving wheels on this side. Then we're going to take out polished diorite stairs and come through on all the corners of these wheels with upside down stairs on the bottom and round these off. And we do right side up stairs in all these corners on the top here. And then upside down stairs in these corners on the bottom of this side. Just like that. Now we'll do the driving rod. So right here, we're gonna put a deep slate brick wall, two stone brick walls. Behind this, we're gonna put two vertical spruce fence gates. Then down next to this bottom fence gate, a deep slate brick wall. Then two iron trap doors right here. Then we're going to take out smooth stone slabs here. And right here, we're going to put three slabs coming back. And then one underneath the end here. Then behind this, on this level of the bottom one here, we're going to put four more coming back. And then one on top of the end back here. Then we'll put a skeleton skull here and here. Then we're going to take out polished black stone brick walls, two here, two here, two in front of the wheels right here, and two on the back of the wheels right here. Then right here, we're going to put a grindstone and a brewing stand on either side of it. Then we're going to do this other side. So come up here, put a deep slate brick wall on top of the piston back here, then two stone brick walls, then a deep slate brick wall right here, and two iron trap doors down here. Then right here, two spruce fence gates, then we'll take out smooth stone slabs again. Right here we do three, and one underneath with a skeleton skull. I'm making sure I had it lined up here. Then we'll do four more right here, one on top of the back with a skeleton skull. Then take out black stone brick walls, two here, two here, two here, and two in front of the driving wheels. Then on the side right here, we're going to put a grindstone and a brewing stand on either side of it. Then take out an anvil, one between these walls, one here, one here, and one here. Now come underneath here and put a polished black stone wall under this bottom middle. Then behind that, we're going to do three polished black stone walls coming across the rails. Behind that, a set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then behind that, two rows of three polished black stone walls and another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then 
Behind that, we'll do two more rows of three polished black stone walls. And then behind this, we're gonna put two polished black stone walls in the middle. Then, coming off that in the center, we're gonna go to dark oak fence gates, and we're gonna put three of them sideways up the center. Then take out chiseled polished blackstone, come up here and do a line up the middle here, and stop before this very last fence gate and put a dark oak slab here. So it looks like this. Then on the second layer, starting on the side of the dark oak slab, put three fence gates here, and then three fence gates on this side up here. Now go to polish andesite stairs, and up here on the second layer, two upside down stairs here, and then two upside down stairs on this side. Behind it up here, we're gonna do a two by two of polish andesite block, and same thing over here. Behind that, a 2x2 two two of polished andesite slabs on the upper hitbox. And then same thing on this side here. Then take out chiseled polished blackstone. Come up here. And we're going to put three across the top right here. Then in front of this, we're going to go three wide with polished andesite up here. And bring that forward until it's up right here. Then I started to add some on the side here, but this is where I realized I was wrong. This outer edge of all this polished andesite stuff needs to come off here. So take all this off so this whole polished andesite firebox section is only three wide. And same thing over here, take off this outer row because that was wrong. Sorry about that. Now take a wither skeleton skull, one on the side of each of these two wheels and come to this side, one on the side of each of these two wheels here. Then on the back of this in this corner here, we're gonna put two black stone brick blocks like this. And same thing over here, two on this side. Then in front of that, aligned with it, we're gonna put a black stone brick stair on the bottom right here and a black stone brick slab on this upper hitbox above it. Then we'll do the same thing over here. So a stair on the bottom and a slab on the upper hitbox. Then come in front of that and put two black stone brick blocks in a column right in front of it here. So two here and then an upside down black stone brick stair here. Do the same thing on this side. So two polished black stone brick blocks right here and an upside down stair facing forward here. Then we'll start working on the actual cab. Come up here, we're gonna put a black stone brick block in each corner, then a door on each side in front of it. Then another block here and here, then two polished black stone walls here and here. Then in front of the door, two black stone brick blocks on each side again. Then we're gonna come in front of this and put two black stone brick slabs on top of each side like this, then two mangrove planks on each side, then a black stone brick block on the fronts, then an inward facing stair here and here. Then open a crimson trap door here and one on this side. Then we're gonna come on top on this outside edge and do a full row of polished black stone brick stairs right here. And then a full row up here on this side facing this way. Then three black stone brick blocks here, skip a block, three across, skip a block and two rows of three. Then fill in each side of these holes and put trap doors in the middle. Then a black stone brick stair here and here and then anywhere we haven't built something up here, we're gonna cover the rest of the top of this with black stone brick slabs. So it looks like that. Now take out end rods. And on either side of this door here, we need to make columns of vertical end rods, four tall 
starting at the top of the door and coming down. And same thing on this side of the door for vertical end rods here. Then put a temporary block up here and three sideways end rods right here. Take out the temporary block. So it looks like that and we have to repeat it on this side. So we'll put a temporary block here, three sideways end rods up here, another temporary block here, and on either side of the door, we'll do a column of four vertical end rods coming down and then take off the temporary blocks. And it looks like that there. Then there's this crown symbol on the side of the cab. And to represent that, we're gonna use an oak sign here. We're gonna come up under this trap door, put an oak sign, and we're gonna do two spaces and then four hashtags. And we're gonna do that on all four lines of the sign. And then we'll hit that with red dye and then a glow ink sac. Then we'll do the same thing on this side. So an oak sign, do two spaces, four hashtags, and do that on all four lines of the sign here. Then hit it with red dye and a glow ink sack. Now come right here and put three dark oak trap doors right here. Then we'll come inside here and do the interior of the cab. Put a black stone brick block here and here and an outward facing stair above it on each side. Then a black stone brick block on this top middle. Then knock out this block, put another brick, light it on fire, and put a trap door over it. Then a lever here, then two item frames like this with recovery compasses. Turn around and put a stair on each side for seats. And now the interior of the cab is done here. Now take out polish and a side block, come up here and run a line up this middle up here all the way to right here, and then on the side of it, a full line of upside down polish andesite stairs. And then same thing on this side, a full row of upside down stairs. Then above this, we're gonna go back to polish andesite block and do a full row of blocks on each side. Then above this, a full row of polish andesite along with top, middle. Then on the outside edge, a full row of right side up polish andesite stairs. And then a full row on this side. Next, we're gonna go to mangrove planks. Start right here above the piston and do a full line of planks coming back on this level until you meet up with the cab here. Then we're going to take out item frames right here, put four regular item frames in front of the item frames, three iron trap doors up here, and then cover the rest of all these planks with black carpet and same thing up front, do black carpet all the way up to this stair. Then we repeat it on this side. So a full line of mangrove planks right here, coming back to the cab. Then right here, three iron trap doors. Then a full line of black carpet up here. Full line behind the iron trap doors. And actually right here, put a black stone brick slab. Then come up here and put four item frames right here. Then up here, start right here and we're gonna do a full row of horizontal end rods coming forward. and then we'll stop right here. Then we need to get an oak sign and put an oak sign right here. Come over here, put an oak sign on this side. And then we'll come back here and put a full row of horizontal line rods up here. And then stop when you get right there. 
Now come on the top middle in front of the cab, put a polished blackstone slab, a lightning rod, and a wither skeleton skull. Then we're gonna grab a dark oak fence gate and open a dark oak fence gate on this side right here. Make sure you have a clear spot in your inventory and we're gonna do a command. Come into your command menu, type slash give space at sign s space the word structure underscore and the word void enter that command and it should give you the structure void block and we're going to come right here put a structure void here and a bell on the side of it that way our bell can be offset how it's supposed to be then right here a black stone polished block and then we're going to come up here Right here, change these outer stairs to blocks, and we're going to put four black candles on all three of these, and then we can change these outer blocks back to stairs. That was just to get the candles on. Then right here, a polished black stone slab, two of them. So the top looks like this. And now that the top's done, we're going to take out dark oak fence gate again come down under the cab down in here we're gonna put three fence gates right in this gap then come up here and three fence gates right here we're gonna do the same thing on this other side and we're gonna put three here and three up here Now we need to make some banners, so come into a loom with a red banner and yellow die. Put a horizontal on the top and bottom and a diagonal. New banner, vertical on the left and right, horizontal on the top, bottom, and middle. New banner, make the bottom half yellow, vertical on the left, horizontal on top. New banner, we're gonna do a vertical on each side and a horizontal on the top and bottom. Then go to red dye and put a red border around every single one of these banners. Then we're gonna come up on the side here and on these item frames, use the banners to put 2860. Same thing on this side, put 2860 over here. And now the locomotive itself is done and we'll move on to build the tender here. So we're gonna come down behind this and skip one block back from this dark oak slab and we'll get a set of netherite wheels on each rail with an Enron axle. Behind that we'll go three wide of upside down polished deep slate stairs and a back-to-back t-shaped -back pattern. Then behind that another set of netherite wheels and an Enron axle. Then behind that, three wide of polished deep slate stairs again, and an upside down back to back T-shape, and another set of netherite wheels, and an end rod axle. Then come through and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of all six of these wheels. And then on the sides of the stairs, we're gonna put two dark oak fence gates on all four of these gaps here. Then come behind this, skip one block back, over on this side, we're gonna put two chiseled polished black stone. So one on the rail and one in the middle here. And then a dark oak fence gate here. Then skip a block back from that, do a set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Then go three wide, a polished deep slate stairs and an upside down back to back T-shaped pattern. Another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then three wide of polished deep slate stairs again in an upside down back to back T-shaped pattern. And a final set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle back here. Then a wither skeleton skull on the side of all six of these wheels. And then two dark oak fence gates and all four of these gaps between the wheels on both sides of this truck here. Then we're gonna take out chiseled polished black stone block here 
come up on this slab and do a full line right up the middle up here. And we're going to come one block past these wheels. And then a black stone brick slab on either side of it. Then in front of that, we're going to go two wide with black stone brick slabs up here. And we're going to bring this forward two wide all the way up. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. Start right here, two wide with black stone brick slabs. Then bring that down to the back. Just like that. Then back here, we're going to put an upside down inward facing black stone brick stair on either side like that. Then take a dark oak stair, turn around and stack it up to the second block for the coupler. And then under here, two dark oak fence gates. Then on top of the back, one block in from the end, we'll go five wide and three high with polished black stone brick block. Then come in front of it and we'll do a single layer a black stone brick block coming up each side and we'll bring it right to the front on each side here then we'll put three in this gap here and then two rows of five across the front end of the tender here then go to mangrove planks and we're gonna fill in the side too high with mangrove planks here and bring that all the way down to the back And then do the same thing on this side. Fill in the whole side. Too high with mangrove planks. Then on the side up here, three dark oak fence gates. Come to the back. Open a column of dark oak fence gates right here. Then come up on the front on this side. And three fence gates up here. Then we're gonna come up on this top middle here and we'll take out polish black stone block. And we're gonna go ahead and fill this whole top in three wide, end to end with polished black stone block. Then come on the top of the front two blocks from the very front, go three wide with polished black stone and make it seven blocks long. So a three by seven in the middle up here. Then we're gonna go all the way around it with outward facing polished black stone stairs, making sure they wrap around all the corners. Then on top of this section, we're gonna come up on the front middle here and we're gonna put a wither skeleton skull in the center then skip a block and a black stone brick slab and a dark oak button behind that. Then skip a block, black stone brick slab, and another dark oak button. Then three dark oak fence gates across here. Then come around right here and do a row of sideways fence gates coming forward to the front of this section. And then one down in this corner. Then one in this corner and then a full row up here. Then we're gonna take out polished black stone slabs and we're going to come around this top outside edge and across the back and up this side. Then we're going to take out a dragon head, put one here, put a black stone brick slab in front of it. Then behind that, a dark oak fence gate on either side. Then behind that, three black stone brick slabs coming across and right here, two wither skeleton skulls. On this top middle back here, a glow item frame with a frog light. Then three iron bars coming up each side back here. Then we're going to take out lightning rods, two sideways ones right here. In the middle under that, a dark oak sign with 2860. Hit that with yellow dye and a glow ink sack. Then we're going to come on the side where this mangrove is and right here we're going to do six oak signs coming forward to represent the lettering. 
And then up here, start right here and do six coming back. And then we have to do the same thing on the other side. So right here, do six signs coming forward. Skip two and another six signs right here. Now take our polished deep slate wall and we need two walls and a column above this trapdoor. And we're also going to need two on this other side here. And then three trapdoors across here. I had that wall in the wrong spot so I had to fix it. And there we have it folks. We've completed our Canadian Pacific Royal Hudson steam locomotive. I hope everyone enjoyed this build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.